Good morning and welcome to the Daily Share where we pray the word of God and bring it to life in our lives. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 33. Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. New Living Translation. Don't be fooled by those who say such things for bad company corrupts good character. English Standard Version. Do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. Uh, King James Bible, do not be deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. That's exactly the one I'm going for. But um, let me just check the Amplified before I finish. Do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good morals. So they all ring, tr they all ring similar, um, but I'm going to go back to the King James Bible. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Uh, the key, key em sorry, the emphasis there being communications. But then when we think about um, communications in the first place, communications are can be transmitted in all sorts of ways, especially nowadays with so much technology. Um, we, we communicate virtually with anyone, anywhere, across the world, anywhere, anytime even. And it's important to really be sort of guarded about what's being communicated to us. Now, most of the time when we think about, you know, it says, do not be misled, uh, evil communication. Can we go back to the other versions, the first version, new international version? Do not be misled, bad company corrupts good character. So let's think of bad company and let's think of communication. When we think of bad company, obviously, we're thinking about the, you know, company in itself, the company you keep, are uh, the people you surround yourself with, the people you interact with in the day to day. But of course, like I've already said, uh, nowadays, communication is not just physical, it's, it's also virtual so you know you don't only communicate with people uh you know through hanging out with them physically no you communicate with them on the phone on social media the, the texting and whatever you so we, we we have so much more company now you can even still maintain company with people from your past you can maintain company with the, the, anything's possible nowadays now let's think about the communication and and we're focusing on bad communication here and the fact that there's no two ways about it um there's no such thing as oh you know most people say that person is bad but you know, I, I don't think they are. I think they are lovely. And yes, sometimes a person can be misunderstood. And yes, um, you know, some people are just generally disliked because simply of their following of Christ. I, you know, I, I get that. But when we when we talk about bad company, you need to be looking and reviewing at all the people around you and, and look at the things they do. The Bible says, by their fruit, you shall know them. What sort of company are you surrounded by? What sort of fruit do does your company, the people who surround you, whether virtually or physically, what sort of company do they, sorry, what sort of fruit do they produce? Because as long as you see evidence of bad fruit, you can continue to tell yourself that they are good company. They may be good to you, but if they produce bad fruit, they're going to eventually produce bad fruit on you. Um, I've, I've, this is again, another lesson I learned the hard way, being this innocent, naive young person years ago, you know, you, you come across people in life and, and, and you assume you're friends. And some of these bad company uh, friends, you know, the friendships can last for, for years, for decades even. And you, and you don't realize you do see these people do other bad things to other people. And you never think for a second and say, well, one day they're going to do it to me. I've learned that whatever you see someone do to someone else, it's, it's not, it won't be long before they do it to you. If you see them be in the habit of let people down, it won't be long before they let you down. If you see them be in the habit of just abuse people, for example, when you go to a restaurant, how does this person treat the waiters and, and all the staff at the restaurant? If they're being arrogant and prideful and just being downright narcissistic and horrible to those people. Don't think for a second that just because you're their friend, they're going to respect you. And, 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 you know, they don't switch faces. There's a, there's, for whatever reason, they haven't quite turned on you yet, but one day they will. Right. Um, and so that's the, that's the bad company we're talking about. What kind of fruits do people produce around you? Um, and, and that's how you sort of can decide for yourself. You don't need anyone else to confirm it to you. Apart from the Holy Spirit, you can decide for yourself if you're in good company or in bad company. Now, the unfortunate thing is about in case you're still planning on ignoring this and maintaining uh, every company that you have. The, 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 ba the bad thing is, let's go back to the King James uh, Bible. Be not deceived. Don't be deceived. Don't even kid yourself for a minute. Don't even deceive. Don't even for a second entertain and say, no, 
it won't happen to me, right? Do not be deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. You who's been brought up so well can find yourself being negatively influenced. And, and by the way, that this is not meant in a, uh, you know, a judgmental way to say, oh no, there's certain people we can't hang out with because we're brought up, brought up in a bad way. That's that's not it at all. There are people who've had a really difficult upbringing, but they are good company, right? It's it's you don't judge people by their background. You judge them by their fruit. Many people make that mistake, myself included, of saying, oh, this person's from such and such a background. This person's from a church family. They've always been, they've always gone to church from as, for as long as I've known them. They've never missed the Sabbath day. They've always, you know, they've always maintained. Yeah. And then it turns out they are the biggest warlocks on earth, walking the earth, you know. So don't be, don't go by people's backgrounds. You can't judge people by their backgrounds. You judge by their fruit, by their fruit. You shall know them. Neither can you make the assumption that just because someone is born by a good parent, uh, that they're going to be, the, the, you know, the angels again, by their fruit, you shall know them. We have to test the spirits. We can't avoid that testing of the spirits. Uh, you, you just can't avoid it. You have to be ready to test the spirits. Every time you come across people, whether you think they are good or bad, whether you love them, whatever you feel about them, you have to test the spirits. There's not a single person in your life, apart from your family, because you can't help uh, who, who, what family you're born into, but all friends and acquaintances and workmates and whatever you, you have to run them past the Holy Spirit and test those spirits. The Holy Spirit will direct you because let's read it again be not deceived evil communications corrupt good manners you know bad company or evil communications they don't just come out right and say oh no let's you know and suggest you know and suggest to you to go out there and do evil things no they lead by example in very subtle ways when someone's not right for for your to be a friend or to be your spouse or whatever they're not going to come out and say or let, let's go and abuse that style let's go to that restaurant so we can abuse those members of staff no that they no that's not how it works. You, some, sometimes you don't even see it coming. They just show their character and they, they manifest their fruit as time goes by. And if you're sitting there and doing nothing about any bad fruit that you see, of course, sometimes you may start off by perhaps trying to suggest to them that what they're doing is incorrect. But don't ever attempt to correct anyone without praying because some people may go into full, full on attack. Take your time with the Holy Spirit, which is why we shouldn't be forming relationships too quick. You know, friendships are meant to take a while to form. And so take your time getting to know people. And when you start to see those bad fruit, you need to stand your distance and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how exactly to navigate around this person. Because, you know, by their fruit, you shall know them. A good tree cannot produce bad fruit. So whatever fruit you see, that's exactly the kind of tree. That's exactly the kind of person you're dealing with. And you can't for a second be deceived. The Bible says, do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good character. And before long, before you know it, if you choose to do nothing about this bad company, because after a while it becomes evident that no, this person is not. And sometimes you may even try to talk to them and they'll lash out at you and kick off. Um, then it becomes clear to you that no, I'm not liking the way this person's acting. You start to slowly um, keep your distance um, until eventually possibly there's absolutely i mean some some friendships you might maintain from a very very long distance um but still once you start to see that there's signs of bad fruit you've got to tread carefully this could cost you your life this could cost you decisions because the, you know it says bad company corrupts good character bad company ruins good morals the, the the good being the person that you are this lovely person who's been successful because that that's that you know that that's how you've been probably been brought up using the word of god and what have you that can completely be corrupted completely if you are not taking guard there's a reason the bible says guard your heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life so if you have bad com communication in, in your in your company those you know that's that's the kind of thinking you're going to have before long you're going to be producing the bad fruit yourself and obviously, this also means while we cannot control what decisions people make, this also means that we have to be praying for young people. It could be your children, it could be your nieces, your nephews, your neighbors, children, your friends, children. Young people particularly need these prayers, but even grown-ups do. But young people in particular need this guidance from the Holy Spirit to, to be able to discern and perceive when someone isn't right in their life. Because once again, the wrong company will change the course of your life. The Bible says, um, 
again, King James Bible, evil communication, corrupt good manners, right? And once you are producing bad fruit, that determines the sort of people you're going to attract in future. That determines the sort of character you're going to portray yourself. That determines the course of your life career-wise. If you've, if you've learned to be stubborn and to be lazy and to be uh, insubordinate at work, that's exactly the direction you're going. And don't ever think for a second you'll gain any promotions or any you make much progress with that kind of attitude. You won't get very far. So this is absolutely important, both for adults and for children. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.